Hi guys, Aaron here. We're looking at a 17 inch wide, 70,000 BTU, 80% furnace. Um, for the uh, the square footage, this does not appear to be too small. Um, the ductwork, it's not too small, but for the age of the house and how drafty it is, um, this is just not keeping up. It's running and running and running and running, and they're losing temp. So the plan is to go with a 80,000 BTU, high efficiency. Um, I'll show you the venting here in just a moment. A couple things to note with the ductwork. Homeowner believes that underneath this furnace is actually dirt. She actually had this uh, new concrete poured, um, which she did herself, which, good job. Um, but when the furnace is out, she would like to do a quick set concrete. She's gonna do that herself. Um, I have let her know that's fine. And then we'll put the new furnace on feet, not a return box. Ductwork. Um, Supply side, 900 CFM. Return side is, the drop itself is 900. However, we only have this 8x10 going to a very large gravity style um, return. So we want to add some more return duct. We're going to replace the drop with a new 8x24. And then off the back, we're going to add an 8 inch round flex and we're gonna head toward the chimney on the, the back side of it and toward the laundry area. We're gonna add that eight inch round flex going above the water lines here. And then we're gonna put it in this joist bay or this joist bay. So kind of right behind this supply right here or right here and we'll just do something simple like a um, 6x10 uh, boot uh, a ceiling style boot so kind of go up into the joist and then mount it so it's facing down down here we've got some issues with the supply trunk um, we're going to keep this supply where it is this is a transition where we go from 8x12 to 8x10 we want to take this supply here which is the second to the very end, and we wanna move it down roughly right where this strap is. Um, you can see the transition from eight by 10, or excuse me, eight by 12 to eight by 10 right here, that's the transition. So something like right here or right here with this six inch. We're gonna do that in rigid. So basically we're gonna disconnect right here where this loop is. You've got the three elbows, and we'll basically turn that, run in that direction and over. The last thing we're gonna do is take the end supply here off the end cap and move it to this location here. That's the one we were just talking about and that's the one we're gonna move. We're gonna move this from there to there and then add a two foot extension of an eight by 10 on the very end of it just for an end cap. This ductwork was all actually recommended by the homeowner. So it really does have to be this way she's not going to accept it if we do anything different than that no matter what we say it has to go this direction all right last piece of the puzzle is the 90 percent furnace venting the plan is furnace here we want to take the vent toward that lolly column through here, along, over here, come across ahead of the window. Yes, we'll have to pitch it. And yes, the homeowner knows that it's gonna be basically right on top of the window right here. And then this joist bay here, which is not the joist bay that is directly next to the window. It's the next one over. We'll cut in the lath open that up let's say about a foot or 18 inches back so you have enough room to make the vent and then drill through the brick which it appears to be double triple thick brick so it's going to take a while to drill through the homeowner is insistent on high efficiency because the masonry chimney is in very poor condition they already had the 90 percent um, hot water tankless hot water heater installed they want to do something similar However, they don't want to go to that side of the house with the venting because they're thinking of possibly putting an addition over there. Thus, we're going to do the venting over here. 
I know this is a long video, but there's a lot of detail in this particular job. It's Aaron 851.